So following on from Carlos's presentation, we're just gonna reiterate some of those points in a practical demonstration. It's really important when you're assessing the calf on a patient that you assess them all the way from distally to proximally to ensure that we don't miss any injuries and don't just stop at the first injury. So here's the calcaneum and there's the Achilles tendon in transverse section. As we follow it up, you can see Kager's fat pad underneath and you can see FHL underneath there. And if you just wiggle your toe, you can see that muscle move. As we go further up, we're gonna look for the medial aspect of the Achilles and you should see the soleus muscle belly coming out. Now we're gonna come back to soleus in a middle, in, in, a, in a minute. Now remember, Carlos said that ultrasound is very good as it is for looking at the plantaris tendon and the medial gastroc. So we're gonna move up, you can see the Achilles flattening out. And as we go further up, we're gonna be able to see the medial gastroc muscle belly. Now this is the aponeurosis, the medial gastroc aponeurosis, the soleus aponeurosis. And if we just look here, and pop that into the middle of the screen, we can see the small, and in this case, it is a small plantaris tendon. Now there is lots of variation. Some people have larger plantaris tendons, but this is quite a small one. And that's the first injury to look for. So is there any injury in that plantaris tendon? And you can follow it all the way up um, and then come back down. And it's important to follow it all the way up into the muscle belly. See, it's quite a small one here as we go up into the muscle belly here. As we come back down, you can see the plantaris, and then you've got the medial gastroc aponeurosis here. On top of that, we have the medial gastroc muscle belly, and it's really important to look for those grade one injuries where you're gonna see just a myofascial tear um, in the muscle, not affecting the aponeurosis. If we go into a long section um, and we look carefully at the point of the medial gastroc and we scan through, then we can also see if there's any disruption of the fibers and you can see them really nicely on ultrasound. So it's very good at picking up those myofascial grade one medial gastroc injuries. Then it's important to look at the aponeurosis. So this is the medial gastroc aponeurosis. This is the slail aponeurosis. And then we, as we go further down and it's really important to assess the full extent of it in longitudinal section, you can see the free aponeurosis there. If you have a grade two injury, then you may see fluid between, or as the aponeurosis has been split, and you may get a fluid accumulation there. Now, in terms of the grading of the injury, as Carlos said, it's really important to have a look in transverse section and look all the way along this aponeurosis. And a grade 2A injury will be when there's 50% or less uh, in transverse that's affected, um, and a grade 2B will be when you've got a split all the way along. Particularly with those larger grade injuries, you then need to spin, spin into longitudinal section on the region that's injured. And this is where Carlos talked about doing the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion to look at that movement between the soleus and the medial gastroc. You see in a normal calf, they move very nicely and they move together. But when they're injured, then you see the disruption in that movement. We're now gonna go on to the soleus. So I always start the soleus down at the bottom. Now remember, MRI is much better than ultrasound for looking at soleus injuries. Around 30% will be seen uh, on ultrasound. So you really can't rule out an injury on ultrasound. As we follow up, again, we're gonna see the soleus coming out of the medial aspect of the Achilles. As we go up a bit further, the first thing to look for is the central tendon. Now this does vary an awful lot. You can see in this case, we've got a very nice central tendon, a very long central tendon, very clear to see. On the lateral side, you can see we've got the lateral aponeurosis, and on the medial side, you've got the medial aponeurosis. So you can see all three aponeurosis um, there on the medial side, lateral side, and the central tendon. Now, as we go up, now remember there is variation, but this is a nice example where the central tendon actually gets smaller and the medial and lateral aponeurosis come over the top of the central tendon to form the soleal arch. So it's important to know your anatomy of the soleus uh, before you start looking for a tear. But just remember, MRI really is the gold standard for looking for soleal tears.